This is J.W. Jones, and welcome to the Wolf's Den, featuring Wayne Snare. Gentlemen, and welcome to the Wolf's Den today. Today, we are very, very, very happy. We have Mr. John B. Main Jr. in the studio with us today. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. Wayne, how are you? I'm just fine, sir. So good to have you into the studio. Great to get out and watch you play. Oh, thank you. Oh, you it's always so much fun. You know, um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Wolf's Den today. Today, we have a full house. We have Matt Steele and the Corvette Sunset. How you doing, guys? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, excellent. Now, let's go around the table so we can get to figure out who the Corvette Sunset is. Uh, I'm Kyle. I play drums. Uh, I'm Marcus. I'm the lead guitar player. Devin, I uh, bass and backup vocals. And I'm Matt Steele. I'm Matt Steele. I'm Matt Steele. <laughs> That's the way to do it, Matt. Well, listen, guys, thanks so much for stopping into the Wolf's Den today. Thank you for having us. And uh, now you guys, uh, how long have you guys been playing music together? Uh, September of 2016 is when the band started. Okay. But uh, there's been some lineup changes. Kyle and Marcus are not original to the band. Uh, Kyle's been with us since... Oh, March of last year. March of last year, and Marcus joined in January. Right on. So the new groove is working well. Oh, yeah. You guys great. are all on the new CD now, I take it? I'm not. <laughs> You're not? No, I have my guitars on the back of the CD case, but oh. that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, you know, there's some, uh, <laughs> it's a very there's important some, contribution. It's a very important contribution. Well, exactly. You know, you can't yeah. do it without the uh, without the guitars. Now, yeah. um, half girl, half ghost. Yeah. Um, there's got to be a story. Matt? So, a lot of the songs on this record to a certain degree, are kind of born of a time and place and a lot of experiences I've had, especially living in PEI before I moved to Halifax. And so Devin picked out the, the title because it's uh, the last line of our song, Borderline. Yes. And it's kind of got a cool... I think it's got something about it. Yeah, that's catchy. It's good. And, uh, yep, it is exactly and, that. And I think that it's uh, it's kind of... The album is is sort of real life and it's sort of fictitious and it kind of has this element of, you know, at the end, you know, no, there's not really a. I was talking. What was I saying earlier? Like no, but the narrator never ends up with the person there, at there, the end of the song. There, so. there are no happy endings. Yeah, there's not a happy right. ending. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so uh, you know, it's kind of this this fading away of of relationships and and struggle and things like that so it kind of fit that to a certain degree yeah i noticed there was um, a little bit of a little bit of loss and and um and yeah. heartache in, in a few of the songs throughout um we're going to listen to the whole album actually Sweet. today so great yeah so okay so a half girl half ghost um that's you know like you said that's an interesting title and it and it comes like you said there's there's no happy endings. Um, now the writing collaboration is that all you Matt is it everybody is it? So this album was mostly uh, songs that were written sort of before the band had started. Okay. And so there was a lot of arrangement collaboration. Devin has a writing credit for his excellent bass line in Rescue Ship, um, and there's a co-write off the top track loss of mystery for Lost, myself yeah. and uh and uh, a singer from a band i used to be in uh but it's mostly just been collaboration of arrangements and trying to trying to make things make sense and putting all the all of the songs as close to one sort of style and arrangement as we can and and since marcus has joined the band there's a few songs down the pike that will be a little bit more collaborative with the or songwriting and that sort of thing but yeah now um i noticed one of the things that I, I did notice about the album when I was listening to it uh -huh. was is that it, it is quite guitar driven. Yes, it is, it is a guitar heavy record, for sure. It, uh, yeah. you got some shoes to fill there, mister. I have huge shoes, huge. The guitarist before, uh, Will Hansen, he's like 
Oh, I know yeah. Will. Yeah. He is a virtuoso, and yeah. I am not a You're said virtual. I'm don't, excellent. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't tell yourself short. Yeah, it's like, you know what? Don't, don't ever do that. Don't yeah. ever take away from what you got. If you, if you weren't yeah. any good, you wouldn't be here. Yeah, well, that's what, I, right? that's what I usually take with me is that you can't be someone else, so no, you can only you know be yourself. No, you know what? Listen. Trust yeah. me, there's only one will. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's only one of everybody. So yeah. it's like be the best you you can be. Honestly. Exactly, you know. And yeah. and to a certain degree too, it's like Will was to borrow a term from Frank Zappa. Like Will was kind of our stunt guitar player. He was just because he's a virtuoso, people would kind of just go like, "Oh, look at that guy." Yeah. And I, I, Marcus is like such a great parts player and can still nail pretty much all those solos. It's, it's more to me when I play guitar. It's a lot about taste. Because when I was younger, it'd be you'd show off, you'd show off, but like that doesn't do anything, or you doesn't get your point across with the song. So yeah. it's just about playing as a group and making it sound full and together. Because yeah. like I call it wanking, like the I call that like wanking. If you keep doing that, it's not gonna be the best. No, song. I mean yeah. it's it's for me it's like singers that that just continuously do roles. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, like, yeah, okay, moves, yeah, we we so know you can do those, so please stop. Yeah. <laughs> but I do, I do appreciate. And there's one song that's not on the record that we play live that uh, called "I Want to Get High." That <laughs> Marcus does a nice little like classical shred solo on. Yeah. It makes me happy. There's, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with a good shred now. Yeah, nothing wrong with a good shred. But as long as it's not every thirty seconds, right? I think yeah. that's the point. You're as long as to it's make. tasteful. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, no. But still, like on the record, we'll. Put down some great parts. And yeah, like the, the, everything that I've I've had to learn is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think it's a lot of help too from from like we had help from John Mullane from In Flight Safety with making sort of some choices before we went into the studio, and then Thomas Stager, our engineer and co-pilot, um, he had a lot of good suggestions and kind of kept things. You know, why don't you do this instead of that, or that was good. Keep that, but don't go too far off the end over here and that sort of thing. So. Yeah, it's kind of funny how you think, you know, sometimes that, okay, the project's done. And then you get in the studio and, you know, and your producer says, well, mm -hmm. maybe that's a little bit long, you know, or the engineer <laughs> says, well, that really doesn't fit there. Well, they're just such different animals. Like live and studio, you're you're working towards entirely different purposes. So yes. it's everything does automatically change the second you walk into that room and have yeah. to lay things down forever. So it's... Uh, I don't know. We're we're actually pretty happy with the blend that we caught between our live energy and. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic oh, CD. I I really do. I um I grooved through all all eight tunes. I just sat back and and put the headphones on and listened to it once, and then went back and listened to it again to make some notes and stuff like that on it. And and like I was asking you earlier, like where do you guys see it? Like I mean, where does it fit in the in the bubble and I, I i hate boxes but at the same time today everybody needs to say yeah. there's something well our most recent bio says uh a mix between electric style ryan adams and elvis costello so that's you know what and i'd go with that yeah i'd take that all day long all right ladies and gentlemen let's get ready we're going to have a little bit of listen to matt Steele in the corvette sunset we're going to listen to loss of mystery and Handshake deal right here in the Wolf's Den on CIOE 97.5, the home of East Coast music.
you say that you're for real, but baby, you're just another. I want you to hold on to what you think I feel. You think you'll be the only one to turn my wheel? Well, you say that you love me. to the Wolf's Den, ladies and gentlemen, with Matt Steele and the Corvette Sunset. We just listened to the first two cuts off their CD, Loss of Mystery and Handshake Deal. Now, Handshake Deal, never double down on a love that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that's good sound advice, but yeah. I mean, you know. I think it's, I mean, part of it is, is somebody told me once that if you... I mean, there are some definitely some exceptions here and there, but like somebody told me once that it's like if you, if you break up with somebody, especially if you have like a big breakup, like you just need to to walk away, like and especially in the the sort of the situation that was going on around that song, which you know, I was seeing somebody who was very troubled. Um, one of her friends was just like, "This person is not going to get better anytime soon. You are just going to feel worse and worse and worse." And it will just end even worse, or you can just walk away now. Yeah. So it's just like I, I had to just, I had. She's like, and you can't, you can't worry about her. You can't think about her. You, you just need to get her completely out of your head as quick as possible. And if you find each other in five years and everything's great, then great. But if not, then you knew you saved yourself a lot of trouble. So I just had to like walk out of that house and try to write this songs like this to get it out of my head. And I can, I can understand that. Yeah. Been there a few times. Been a while, but yeah. been there a few times. And then lost, lost mystery. Yeah. My eyes are on the road, and yours are full of tears. So that one was kind of lost of mystery is one of the songs in the record that's a little bit more on like the fictionalized side, where um, my former bandmate John Gallant, who's now the percussionist for Lenny Gallant, like he had this chorus that we had written for our old band that was like in it for the long haul, baby, are you trying and. I thought, well, like, what if I just made kind of a, like, a road song, you know? Okay. And uh, so, you know, my eyes are on the road. I was just trying to, to a certain degree, I was just kind of really trying to milk that, that imagery. And so it's, uh, there's not, unfortunately for that line, there's not a whole lot more to it than I was just trying to make, like, a really, like, some sort of snappy set up for the chorus but you know it's yeah. funny because every song says something different yeah. to every mm -hmm. person that listens yeah. to it right and i mean you know a song that could just bring you to your knees and break mm -hmm. you up you find out you know some guy some guy wrote it you know just it was a whim it, it didn't yeah. mean anything but yet it, it, it crushes yeah. you well like i i tried to you know i definitely tried to make it a a really a really you know, cool song in that way, and it's definitely like the the point of the song is like I was trying to trying to fictionalize that idea of like you really want it to work, and you know, the later on in the song, it's like I tried to be your king, why did you hide the crown? Yeah, um, kind of just coming up with these ideas of of how to get that across. Like this this guy is really trying to win you over. He can't he just can't do it right, or yeah. something's wrong with you, or what. And you know, sometimes no matter what you do, you're not going to get the girl anyway. <laughs> and then when you do, you go, why? <laughs> yeah. Loss of mystery. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's like, uh, oh, it's Perfect. like, uh, what was the old, uh, the old uh, Motorhead song, The Chase is Better Than the Catch? Yeah. Or uh, how Der Eric, Eric Clapton wrote that entire Derek and the Dominoes record about Patty, Patty, Boyd, Boyd, yeah. Patty Boyd Harrison, George Harrison's wife. And then yeah. finally, George Harrison's like, yeah, you, you can, I don't. I don't, don't love her anymore. She can be with you, and then like, within, I don't know, like, didn't last long. Didn't last yeah. long. <laughs> no. Well, sometimes you know the things you think you want. Yeah. Right. When you finally do get them, you realize they're not all that 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 you thought they were. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
everybody always says, you know, the grass is greener on the other yeah. side. Well, really and truly, all you need to do is give your side a little fertilizer and water, and it'll be just as green. Yeah. yeah. You know, but people sometimes just don't want... That's a good country they, song. They, yeah. they, yeah. They, <laughs> there you go, guys. Write it up. Yeah. Yeah. But no, but seriously, you know, like sometimes people just don't want to put the work in that they need to put in. Mm-hmm. Now, listening to this CD, um, and I know it was a studio cut and all of that stuff, but it sounds like uh, you guys have a quite a bit of fun when you're playing. For sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah no, we're going to let everybody other than Matt answer yeah. this one. Are we talking about, like, live setting? Yeah, or? like, well, I mean, pretty much, I don't know, just sitting here talking to you, it seems yeah. like you guys, you know, you got a pretty good attitude together, so I, I'm, I'm assuming that when you when you get together, it's a good time. Yeah, I would say even, like, at practices, we're all singing along to the songs, and we're all, like, having a good time, and, yeah, it, it has been a pretty positive experience for me so far. We... Uh, we all just seem to like each other, uh, <laughs> for now at least. Doesn't once the once lot. the money and the drugs set in, then yeah, it'll then be a different story. Go to, go but uh, yeah. but yeah. right now, and you know, you see a lot of bands and they're standing on stage and they're dour and they're really serious. But I mean, it's you know, I spend the set smiling. I just it's just a lot of fun. Do you know, there's nothing worse for me to go to a, a live show and and see somebody playing that's not into it. Kills like, the I mood. mean, you know, well, it kills everything. I mean, yeah. it kills the buzz, kills the mood, kills it all because there's so many people that would give their high teeth to be up there playing. Of course, I mean, there are certain bands where it works. If you're if you're building your aesthetic around it, ar- around this like serious persona, then I understand. Then it will work. But yeah. uh, high energy rock shouldn't be like that. Though. No, exactly. Yeah. No, no, high energy rock should be just that high energy <laughs> yeah. rock. Okay, you kick know. out the jams. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but that's it, you know, I mean, every genre is a little bit different, and again, we're back to the boxes thing, but, but you know, the one thing that I've learned being around the music scene for the last, I don't know, seven, eight years, whatever it is that I've been pretty close to it is, is I always thought that, you know, guys just get up and played, and that was it. Now I see how much fun they're having, because a lot of times I thought it was work. Oh, it's work. It's both. Yeah. <laughs> it is, but I mean, for the most part, a lot of the guys I see, they're they're having too much fun to even think about the work. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the that, that's that's partly a smoke and mirrors game where you know don't don't let the audience see you sweat, right? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. uh, you you got to project this unified front as an image. I mean, we're lucky that we actually do like each other and it's fun. Yeah, it's yeah. Genuine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you know that that is not the case with everybody. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I know a couple of bands yeah. that it's not the case with, but yeah. yeah. Well, it's also like we, you know, we were in a meeting earlier today about like working, doing artist development, and I've spent weeks and weeks like emailing people like you to try to get on the radio, and and it's like it's a lot of a lot of that, and a lot of you know sitting around at the shows waiting to go up and have your forty five minutes of fun. Yeah. Um, but that's that little slice of just. Nirvana is what makes the rest of it kind of worth it. It comes why we do it. It comes down to splitting it. Like you're gonna have the business side of things, and you're gonna have like the fun side of things. And when we're doing the fun side, we're not really thinking about that, and vice versa. So like, and that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's better to just keep it separate so everything works out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to a couple more cuts off of this CD, Half Girl, Half Ghost. Let's listen to Borderline, and it won't happen again, right here in the Wolf's Den on CIOE 97.5. I see the cracking lacquer on a thin red stripe. Cut! 
Cause I don't scare easy, I don't fall apart There's room for another girl in this heart Fool me the last time, it's all your fault Cause you opened the wound, you poured in the salt Yeah, I got a good feeling, I'm never gonna end I'm not scared, Yeah, I got a good feeling, I'm not gonna end I'm not Or I talk, you sweet talk, I ain't listening Welcome back to the Wolf's Den, ladies and gentlemen. We have Matt Steele and the Corvette Sunset in the studio, and we just listened to It Won't Happen Again and Borderline. Now, It Won't Happen Again. Open the wound and pour in the salt. Ow! Yeah. You know, I got a good feeling it, it won't happen again. Mm. I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, I was... This one I think I had written kind of around the time the band first started because it wasn't in the set when nope. we first started. So I had finished reading an article with Max Martin who wrote all the tunes for like the Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears and all those people. And I had also just finished reading this book by Ralph Murphy called like Murphy's Laws of Songwriting or something like that. And I was just like, I'm going to write a song like that that uses like all those little tricks <laughs> that they the, like the big major league songwriters use and and so I came up with this like it won't happen again I got a good feeling it won't happen again and then it's sort of like when you work on pop song titles when you have the title then the title tells you what the rest of the song should be about um, so I had this thing it was like it won't happen again well you know what happened well you know I got a good feeling it won't happen again because the first time around you got me hooked you know, then the third time around, I got stuck in your jungle and, you know, cannibalized or whatever and, yeah. you know, fell into your traps. And, and um, you know, like, even though you're pouring in the, you know, ripping these wounds out, like, I, I, in coming up going, like, I'm not going to fall for that again. And then she shows sure. up with the red lipstick and the push up bra, and you're just, oh, crap. Yeah. You know? There I go. So, again. <laughs> um, you know, and, and there's like a little reference, like, because I was trying to write like a rock song with like a pop framework there's even like that reference to hall and oats like hall and oats on, with a warning you know whoa here she comes here like, she comes yeah <laughs> watch out girl and uh yeah. so that was kind of like i just wanted to write just like once i kind of got the title and i got the the won't happen again happen again i was like all right i just gotta write like the funnest <laughs> silly song you know you know it 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 amazes me songwriting um I could come up with all kinds of stupid little ditties and stuff like that, yeah. but to sit down and to write a serious song, and to just, you know, like y you do, you can yeah. say, okay, I want to write a song about this. So you write a song yeah. about it. You know, I mean, I'd be here next year, and you'd be saying, how are you doing with that? Oh, I got the first line. <laughs> well, but I'll, I'll tell you something, and I'll let Devin yeah. talk, but Borderline, what we just listened to as well, that song has been around for nine years. It started with an entirely different song. And then I had this line, we used to fit together like the sheath and the shiv, and I loved it too much to let it go. And then finally I reworked the entire structure of the song, chords and rhythms and everything, and then I, then I had to work backwards from, I liked borderline, I liked that. So then I had, well, what's going on? You know, did you slip across, take a turn, and got lost? And then I had to go, well, what's the story of this now? Okay, well, I see the crack and lacquer, and the, you know, scales are tipping, and, and, and it's, but that was nine years of trying every wow. year. I, at least once a year, I'd go and try to to pick away at that song. 
No, no, I, I was going to say something similar. Is uh, you know, I'm a songwriter myself. He's a and, good one. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Uh, and I used to have this thought in my head that I needed this inspiration to strike, and a song has to be written in one sitting, or it's useless. And yes, I mean, I have songs like that, but it's also I have songs that have taken two or three years to finally yeah. come together. And once I realized that, I stopped putting so much pressure on myself, and things started to come a little easier. So it's all just. Yeah. Also, yeah. uh, it's also nice when you have other people around you to also write with. Yeah. So instead of having just one person have to figure out everything, yeah. everybody has something that they can bring to the table, whether that be instrumentally or lyrically or melody-wise. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's like uh, Never Going Home, one of the next tracks on the yes. record. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot of help from Dennis Ellsworth on the original arrangement of it. Okay. Um, that and a couple of tracks on my first record, he was really helpful. I would play them for him because I used to play in his band, and he would be like, why don't you just cut that in half you don't need all that extra stuff people don't care just yeah. do that okay yeah. great you're yeah. like that's not going to mess with the message of the song no you know no, like, i mean you know like and, and a lot of times sometimes stripping it down is is um building it up you know it makes yeah. stuff more powerful yeah you know like sometimes when you strip away you know what an engineer or a cook you know or a producer will say is meaningless i mean and then then the heart and the real meat yeah. of the song comes out because there's no fluff or filler around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was and that was a big part of working with uh, with John and Prepro was uh, just cutting fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this section is going on too long. This intro doesn't need to be yeah. eighteen bars or whatever. Like yeah. it's just make things tight and concise and get your message across as quickly as possible. And you know, it's you go back and back to the the Beatles as an example, but they could say everything they needed to say in two and a half minutes. So why can't anybody say what they need to say yeah. in two and a half minutes? It's yeah. But then again, we don't want to get stuck in that little box. Some people have things to say that take five minutes, and that's okay, too. Yeah, totally. I think it just comes down to, especially with producers, they they need to know why you need that in the song. So yeah. if you really want something, you, they need, you need to tell them why. Uh, yeah, I, I think, um, for me, I would rather see it a little bit heavy and long, if it's personal, mm -hmm. other than commercial. Right. Yeah. Okay? I would rather see a songwriter... Um, bear his soul for five minutes and 49 seconds than um, write a two minute and 27 second No, of course, I mean, hit. it's it's got to serve the song. Like, yeah. It's, it's got to serve the message that you're trying to get out, but I'm just saying, like, you don't say don't say more than you have to. Like, no. get your thought out and then... And yes, exactly, you don't need yeah. To. Yeah. It may be the commercial, or it may be the song, but you got to serve <laughs> somebody. somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> See, we're all on the same page here. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my! No, listen. You know what music is? Music is is what what you are. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's and that's all it is. So I mean, everybody's idea is a little bit different, and mm -hmm. thankfully so. Otherwise, everybody would sound the same, mm -hmm. and wouldn't that suck? Yeah. Because who knows who would all sound like, and who would we pick to be at the top that we all sounded like? Uh, Engelbert Humperdinck. Yes. Hey, back in the day, the guy had some pipes. He don't talk them. Yeah. All the women both. loved him, too. Yeah. <laughs> Used to fill out those uh, dress pants. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to Never Going Home and Coach Mate Katie. And we'll talk about that when we come back right here on the Wolf's Den CIOE 97.5. I have to tell myself don't quit until you know Sometimes I feel like I am never going home I'm never going home
Welcome back to the Wolf's Den, ladies and gentlemen. We have Matt Steele in the Corvette Sunset here in the studio with us today. And we're talking about Half Girl, Half Ghost there, CD. Now, uh, guys, we just listened to uh, Never Going Home and Coachmate Katie. Mm -hmm. uh, so many lovers with their arms on their shoulders. Why don't you slide over? Why are we so alone? It's a... Uh... It's um, it's a bit of a. It's probably along with handshake deal, probably like the truest story <laughs> on the record. I, I, you know, like I said in the break, there I wasn't really sure um, from the song. Like I got a little confused. Yeah. Did you want her next to you? Did you not want her next to you? Yeah. So so it's kind of the story. The song was that um, we used to party with a bunch of friends in Charlottetown, and the some friends of ours had an apartment with two couches in the living room. So the two of us lived slightly out of town, so we'd come come back to the apartment drunk after we'd all gone to get our pizza, and then we'd pass out on each respective couch, and then our two friends would go upstairs, and and it kind of started as this, like, I just thought it was a great setup for a song, and then it kind of turned into a little bit more than that for a little while, and then... Um, and then I shelved the song for quite a while. <laughs> uh, I forced him to bring the song back. And now the song is safely brought back out. Yeah, now the song yeah, is enough time, across enough the world. Has, <laughs> <laughs> enough time has now crossed over the, over the bridge. <laughs> yeah. And um, never going home. Sometimes I feel like I'm never going home. So, uh, yeah, I wrote that in PEI because I... I think like when I moved to Canada, originally I was supposed to be in PEI for like a year and then move with my cousins I was in a band with to Toronto and we were going to try to do the music thing. In Toronto. 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 So uh, I, that had kind of gotten sidelined and then my mom got cancer and so I was kind of like in PEI and, and so I was kind of trying to figure out, well, like what is my criteria for success? Like when do you pack it in or when do you decide you are successful? Um, how do you you know, like that, this kind of idea of like, well, I, I really have no familial blood tied to, to the United States at all. Like I've got step family in, down there, but my mom is from Rustico and PEI and my dad's from the West Coast. And so like, where is PEI my home now? Is Kentucky still my home? Do I, you know, like kind of just this wondering if I was even ever going to have enough money to get a flight down there, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, and so kind of just this weird sentimental reminiscence of, of Kentucky to a certain degree. Kind of going okay. back to what we were talking earlier about the grass is greener. You know, yeah. I, I, I couldn't wait to get out of Kentucky when I was 18, but, you know, when I, I was 25, I was kind of like, boy, I wonder if I'll ever go back. Yeah. Yeah, I booted it out of here when I was 17 and moved out to Western Canada. And mm -hmm. After about five years, you start thinking, <laughs> hmm, maybe it wasn't so bad at home, <laughs> you know. Now, um, okay, so we're going to go out today, we're going to listen to Rescue Ship, and we're also going to listen to Hurricane. Um, now, before we get on to talking about those two songs a little bit, I want to make sure that um, we get everything we need to get in here mm -hmm. today for you guys so that the general public can find you. For sure. So, uh, how can people, uh, where's, where are we going to find you at? We got social medias, you know, CorvetteSunset.com is our uh, is our brick and mortar website, which is a funny concept. Uh, and yeah, then, really. yeah, uh, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we're on all of them at Matt Steele. And the, well, what is our I tag? Uh, Facebook is and Facebook is Matt Steele Music. Okay. Instagram is Matt Steele the Corvette Sunset because <laughs> there are no ampersands. Okay. Um, and. Uh, yeah, CorvetteSunset.com. You can YouTube. We're on YouTube yeah. with our handshake deal music video. So Spotify, Apple Music, we're all the places. Yeah, yeah we're everywhere. Just, all just, those just wherever you want to connect with us and be our friend or listen to our music, you just need to search Matt Steele and the Corvette Sunset. Yeah, Google it. Yeah. Google, Google it. it. There, there you go. There. And um, now you got a the CD that we're talking about today. Half girl, half coast. You're gonna do your release on June June seventh uh, at 7th. the Seahorse Tavern in Halifax, Nova Scotia. That will be an early show. It starts at eight o'clock and goes till midnight. That's so, so us old folks can go and get home and still take our meds and get to bed. Well, I, I wasn't gonna work it like that, but <laughs> but we would love to see you there. 
we have a, an event for that on Facebook if you want to buy a ticket in advance. And we will be selling CDs, LPs, for those of you who still have record players. Right on. T-shirts and half pepper, or half girl, half ghost pepper hot sauce. Yeah. Wow. I might have to come to this. I'm hearing T-shirts and hot sauce. I like both it's of got, those. It's got sugar and spice and ghost peppers. And ghost peppers. <laughs> oh, my. So, like, we're it's talking. Hot. Hot. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Hot. So we have the ambulance outside for me? Or yeah, don't, 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 like, don't drink it. Yeah. <laughs> you sparingly. You sparingly. How can yeah. you do that? It's a hot sauce. you got to whack it to it. But it's not well, good. actually, we, we thought it would be a good idea to get a really hot hot sauce because then it'll stick in people's fridges for longer. Yeah, that's they won't right. Just use and, it yeah, they the can bottom. see your name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. up. You guys are smart. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go out today with Rescue Ship and Hurricane from Matt Steele and the Corvette Sunsets. Guys, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping in today. It's been a real pleasure. We really, thank you. We really appreciate it. Excellent. Well, you know what they say here at CIOE, we play 65 hours a week of East Coast music. So, ladies and gentlemen, another great band for you to get out and experience. Get out and see Matt Steele in the Corvette Sunset in June down at the Marquee. No, Seahorse. at the Seahorse for their CD release. And that's on June the 7th? Correct. 8 o'clock sharp. 8 o'clock sharp. All right. And as we always say here on the Wolf's Den, ladies and gentlemen, you know the drill. Please, please be kind. Be nice to one another. And always, always, always hug the ones you love.
rescue ship. You're a hurricane 
Throwing me sideways No explanation, y'all a fall for scale Knocking me over now You're a hurricane Bowling me over Pretty soon I'll be up to my neck In every kind of trouble now Hey, I'm in your ride Keep me center now, honey, make it right Hey, I'm in your ride The stormy sky's got nothing on your temper, honey You're a typhoon Keeping me on my toes 